this meditation that I would like to take you all through is really to, um, I think I, last week for the, the nervous system, I took you all through um, a meditation to, to improve and start to wake up your nervous system to heal itself, to wake up that ability of your of your own nervous system to heal itself. So the zone therapy is really what I used last week. And in and last week I only did the nervous system. However, the zone therapy actually looks at six um, master switcher. These master, uh, these master um, what are, uh, meridian points actually um, regulate a lot more than just the nervous system. I want to pull up this. So zone one is about the glandular system. And zone two is elimination system. So things like the large intestine, bladder, those uh, within zone two. Zone three is nervous system. Zone four is digestive system. Zone five is muscular. And zone six is circulatory system. So blood, lymphatic system, that's zone six. So the meditation tonight is to wake up all six zones so that your body can heal at a holistic level. So let's start that. Join me by just starting to focus on your breath. Start to pay attention to your breath. Just gently observe how you breathe in and breathe out. Breathing really oxygenates our body. So get to the point where your, your breath is smooth. and relax your body in such a way that it will facilitate having a smooth breath. And when you breathe, allow your whole body to breathe, not just your lungs, your belly, your whole body. When you breathe in, allow your whole body to inflate. And when you breathe out, allow your whole body to just deflate slightly or as much as your body needed to. When you feel that your breath is starting to get smoother, then set the intention for your right hand, the rhythm that is that you feel the pulse in your right hand is synchronized to the pulse that you feel in your left hand. So in other words, synchronize your body so that the right side of your body is in sync with your left. Just set that intention and keep on breathing in smoothly and breathing out smoothly.
Now that you have balance on the right side and the left side of your body, let's balance the top part of your body to the lower part of your body. This is called balancing the yin yang. You can place your left hand on your thymus and your right hand around your belly button area. If it's convenient for you to use your hands. If not, then just hold the intention that you want to balance the top part of your body with the bottom part of your body. Having your hand there just serves as a reminder to balance the top and the bottom part of your body. Keep on breathing in smoothly Breathing in and breathing out slowly as well. And after a while, you start to find that when your left side and your right side, your top part and the lower part of your body are in balance, then the yin and the yang part of your body is in balance. And when you have balanced your own internal yin yang, then you can start you do some healing work on yourself. Start by calling on higher frequency. I would suggest 528, the frequency of unconditional love. Start to raise your own vibration or frequency higher. 528. And just hold the intention to raise your own frequency to at least 528. Just keep on repeating five to eight to yourself. Five to eight. Keep repeating five to eight to yourself until you feel, you start to feel an opening in your heart. And you start to feel yourself being more relaxed. Feel your body just calming down.
five, two, eight. And when you feel your heart starting to expand and open up and feeling more energy and expansive, And have the intention to be connected to your higher self. Because your higher self can assist you in healing yourself. So five, two, eight, by yourself, connect. Hold the intention to be connected to your higher self. Your higher self is always connected with you, especially when you intentionally raise your vibration to at least five to eight. It is just that when you make that connection, consciously, intentionally, then you actually can feel it stronger. You kind of condition your body to look for that connection. So now let's start to activate Zone one. You don't really need to know where zone one is. You just need to know that zone one has a right side and has a left side. And zone one is about the glandular system. So hold the intention to activate zone one, five to eight, zone one, activate. I two eight zone one activate. You may feel some sensation at the base of your skull, right behind your ear bone on both sides. And if you do, that's perfect. And if you don't, that's great as well. Five, two, eight, zone one, activate.
repeat this a few more times. Five, two, eight, zone one, activate. What it feels like for me is that at the base of my skull, I feel like there is a ring of energy that's going back and forth between the zone one that is on the right side of my skull and the zone one that is on the left side of my skull. And that is my experience and yours may be different. Go on to zone two. Five, two, eight, zone two, activate. Zone two is our elimination system. It's about how our body eliminates things that it no longer needs. Five, two, eight, zone two, activate. Five, two, eight, zone two, activate. Repeat this a few more times until you can feel another ring at the base of your skull, just slightly smaller than the previous one. Five, two, eight, zone two, activate. Let's move on to zone three, our nervous system. Five, two, eight, zone three, activate. Five, two, eight, zone three, activate. By now, you all may be feeling some things at the base of your skull now, or not. 
I certainly am. So I just want to point out by activating the first three zones, it's like activating three energy rings right around the base of your skull. You may feel some things that you haven't feel for a while now, especially if you're if you have some difficulties in glandular elimination or nervous system area, you may feel those meridians running. So now let's move on to the fourth one, digestive. 528, zone four, activate. Five, two, eight, zone four, activate. Five two eight zone four activate. And now let's move on to zone five muscular. Five two eight zone five activate. Five two eight zone five activate. Five to eight, zone five, activate. Now, zone six, circulation. Five to eight, zone six, activate. Five two eight zone six activate. Five two eight zone six activate.
five to eight. Unconditional love, empty. Five to eight, unconditional love, empty. Five to eight, unconditional love, empty. Five to eight, unconditional love, empty. Let your soul and your heart guide you. To choose. To choose to love life. To choose to run the energy of healthy, happy, love, body. Let your soul and your heart guide you to work with your body. co-create with your body so that your body supports you and you support your body. To live a vibrant, happy, love-filled life. Choose this. Make a choice. That no matter what is happening outside, that this is what you stand for. Choose. Choose to let go of beliefs that tells you you don't have a choice. Choose to let go of beliefs that have you chasing after things that are of no consequences. Follow your soul and your heart to choose what really matters to your heart and to your soul. Be that light for your body. Be that guide for your body. Feel that love for your body. Your body certainly loves you. 
and it does its best to support you. Choose with your heart and your soul to co-create with your body. Choose love. Love for yourself. You don't need a reason or an excuse to love yourself. Just choose love for yourself, no matter what happens, no matter what is happening, or what is not happening. Choose love for yourself. And breathe deeply into your heart and your soul and in your body and use your breath to create this circle of synergy between your heart, your soul, your mind and your body all acting and co-creating as one. And remember that every time you breathe in and breathe out, let this breathing, let this breath be a reminder That all is one. Your body, your soul, your mind, all co-create together as one. You can choose to stay in the meditative state or in the mix or use the next three breaths to start to wake up and come back into the room with the rest of us and share your experience. It's your choice. So take a deep breath in and let it all go. And second breath, deep in. And then let it all go. And one more time, breathe in deeply. And then let go. And then either choose to come back to the room or stay in a meditative state. It's 
up to you. It is your choice. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. <laughs>